I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Coach MC. You're watching Ashley Canada, the place to be for international students and immigrants who want to study living for the opportunities here in Canada. So in today's video, we're going to talk about your age. Do you still have the chances to immigrate after completing your program? But before we start, please do not forget to subscribe and also hit that little like button so that more and more people will see my video here on YouTube. To study in Canada, you must be 18 years old or older. However, in some provinces, there is actually age limit and it really varies. When it comes to permanent residency, you also need to know do you still have the chances to immigrate after completion of your program? Because there's some permanent residency here or immigration pathway here that has age limit. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. If you're interested with that, then keep on watching. For mature students, there are two major issues that you're gonna encounter if you're going to pursue higher education here in Canada number one is your study permit application and the second is permanent residency for study permit application for mature students one of the major refusal reasons is the employment and program history of the student given that the student has extensive work experience there are some students that has 10 to 15 years work experience they have already studied master's degree they have PhD although you have 10 to 15 new work experience doesn't mean that you won't be able to get the visa approval if you will be able to explain the reason why do you need to study again you have a concrete plan then you will be able to get the visa approval you won't be able to get it the first time or the second time but still possible. I actually have this student from Selkirk College. She finished bachelor's in accountancy in the Philippines in year 2000. So she has 20 years study gap. She didn't get the visa approval like the first application. The, the reason of refusal was about finances, home ties because she's a, a overseas Filipino worker and she was also refused because of her purpose of visit. But when she was able to address the reason why she needs to go back to school again, she actually take post diploma in accountancy at Selk College and she was able to get the visa approval. I just want to tell you guys, even though you have that long study gap, even I, I got nine years study gap when I applied for the study permit. We are able to get our visa approved. Maybe one thing that I wanted to point out here is that when you're taking a program, make sure that you're not taking associate program because that's like for people that don't have bachelor's degree yet. So for people with bachelor's degree, for master's degree or PhD, make sure that you're actually taking at least the same level as your previous education. Do not take like a downgrade so that they will not question again. And also if you're gonna take a program, make sure that it's really related to your current work experience or and also related to your past education actually if you go to a public school they have specialized programs in different fields like business information technology trades and also engineering so make sure that you're choosing the right program before proceeding to your visa application yeah. <laughs> So now let's talk about the permanent residency. Do you have the chances to immigrate to Canada after completing your program? To be honest, age really matters when it comes to your immigration pathway. We actually had a previous webinar with Ms. Marcel, our immigration expert, and we talk about this. You can watch that after watching this video. It will be in my description box. If your goal here in Canada is to immigrate after completing the program, you really have to see the possibilities and your PR pathways even before you decide to study. For the age of 19 years old to 29 years old, they're pretty lucky when it comes to the age because they get up to 110 in express entry. And However, the only downside is their work experience. They don't have the work experience yet or they don't have finances to 
pay the tourism fee so sometimes they need to get the sponsor and this actually one of my challenges because it's so hard to find a sponsor nowadays I believe for me the sweet spot to immigrate to Canada is about 27 to 35 years old where you have work experience foreign work experience you have finances to sustain yourself here in Canada but if your age is between 19 to 29 years old or even 35 your best shot is actually Canadian experience class as long as you gain one year to two years work experience you will be able to get the invitation to apply for permanent residency for the age 30 to 40 years old this is the age where you get the deduction you get five points deduction in express entry but even though you have this deduction you still have that work experience inside and outside Canada to compensate your age. You can actually explore other PR pathways here in Canada, not just at, not just Canadian Experience Class. You can check Provincial Nominee Program and other pilot programs here in Canada, such as Rural Immigration Pilot Program or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. For the age of 45 years old or older, you get zero points in age in express entry. So now you really have to be careful when you're choosing the province and your immigration pathway because there's some immigration pathway here in Canada that they have age requirement. For example, if you double check New Brunswick Provincial Nominee Program, they only accept up to 55 years old. However, there are also some other PR pathways here in Canada that they don't have you know, ranking system. So you really have to double check this. I highly suggest 45 years old and above, consult with immigration expert before making a decision to study in Canada. I really wanted to reiterate this, that before you decide to move to Canada or even spend that money to your tuition fee, I want you to double check your PR pathways here in Canada. I don't want to waste your money. I don't want you to waste your time. So check this before you make that decision. And also watch that webinar that I was talking about. It was about the age. Do you have the possibility to immigrate to Canada? And that is very informative. We actually have this webinar every two weeks, bi-weekly with Miss Marcel. And for you to be able to get into that live webinar with Miss Marcel, you need to be part of my mailing list. Please do check my description box for more information. Thank you again guys for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe and like this and happy Canada Day! Bye guys! I'll see you in the next one. Bye!